The Intruder, and Roblox horror game telling about monster that threatening one people named Henry. The Intruder is developed by official BoulderMe. The Intruder inspired from analog horror named Mandela Catalog and famous horror game named Five Nights at Freddy. The Intruder released 2021 or two years ago. And now, The Intruder have 11 entities. What is it like? Entities? Now, let's explain and listen carefully. The Intruder The Intruder is the main antagonist or main character. The Intruder can be found almost entire chapter in Clue. The House, The Mall, Mineshaft, Psychiatric Hospital, Satan Lodge, The Ender Secret Chapter, and VHS Tape 1-3. The Intruder is tall black figure, can shapeshift into others. It encompasses two large white eyes with black pupils and sharp fangs. The Intruder has appeared in the most chapter by his name. It's clear that he is the main antagonist out of all the current enemies, and the most involved in the lore due to his interactions with Henry. It's likely that he is the cause of the disappearance of the couple, who originally owned the lodge in Satan's Lodge, according to the lore behind it. He attacked the man while he was hunting, shapeshifted, into him, and went back to the wife, and killed the wife. The intruder have three main shape and clue. The first shape is the oldest, and this shape can be found dot in the end chapter. The second shape is look different than first shape. Second shape of the intruder have two large white eyes and tiny black pupils. This shape can be found in the house, the mall, psychiatric hospital, tape 1-3. The third shape, it's look 180 degrees different. This shape have two oval white eyes, strange head, and teeth that tend to be messy. This badge obtained when you get killed by the intruder. The Unhinged The Unhinged is the second entities in the game. The Unhinged have high mouth, two white eyes, big black pupils, and teeth in entire mouth. The Unhinged can be found in Chapter 4 Psychiatric Hospital or Mental Hospital. The Unhinged is one of the slowest entities in the game, so player have a big chance. To close the doors before him entered office and killed player. The Unhinged mouth is very tall, his mouth stretched out on head, into the floor. This badge obtained when you get killed by Unhinged for the first time. Vent Dweller Vent Dweller is third entities in the game. Vent Dweller is black humanoid with what seems elongated arms, but looks similar to the base intruder seen in previous maps. Vent Dweller can be found in Chapter 4 Psychiatric Hospital or Mental Hospital. In easy difficulty, it attacks the office rarely dot dot in normal difficulty. It attacks the office dot regularly dot dot in the nightmare difficulty. It attacks the office very frequently. Vent Dweller has a sequence on how she acts. During her first phase, you can only see her eyes in the crawl space. There's nothing dot to worry about here. She won't attack in this form. In her second phase, her teeth will be visible, but she is in the same area. A bit after the second phase, you will see a footage of her crawling to the edge of the vent Regardless of what camera you are dot in, indicating that she is approaching, now is the time to get cautious. Going back to Cam 9, you will now see the Vent Dweller in her second phase, much closer than before. This means that she is preparing for an attack. She will peek out and reach her arms, and then leave after seeing that you aren't there. Keep in mind that due to her speed on nightmare mode and frequency of attacks, the above shouldn't be applied. If you hear any vent sounds, run to the lights and turn them off as fast as possible. The vent dweller has an inhuman speed in that mode. This badge obtained when you get killed by vent dweller.
The Rot. The Rot is fourth entities in the game. The Rot is tall black floating humanoid skeleton, which also emits black excess energy of some sort. The Rot is the first entity with skeleton appearance, before the closet released. The Rot, when provoked in the basement section, or when you are in the good ending area, will chase you around, until he's got you, before then disappearing. There is little information on the rot, but we know, from a note in the good ending area, that its purpose is to allow no one to escape. The rot can be found in Chapter 5, Satan's Lodge. This badge obtained when you get killed by the rot. The Closet. The Closet is fifth entity in the game. The Closet is similar with the Rot, but his head is like PG. It's mean because his head can be look in different directions. The Closet is black colored grinning skeleton with white, pupilless eyes and mouth. The radio next to the player's closet will start playing sounds that can be described as a printer. Soon after, the closet skeleton will be visible, and music will start playing from the radio. To survive it, the player must not have a direct view to the closet. The two spots the player can hide in are either in the bathroom, or under the bed. The closet can be found in Chapter 6, Oak Deer Inn or Hotel. This badge obtained when you get killed by the closet. The Static. The Static is sixth entity in the game. The Static is black colored skin with floating hands while he's out from TV and kill players. Whenever the Static spawns, Static will start playing from the television and screaming. If this Static is not stopped in time, the Static will kill the player. To stop the Static, a remote will spawn somewhere in the hotel room. The location of remote is like computer table, left, cupboard, bathroom shelves, bathroom wasteful, and etc. This badge obtained when static killed you. The Shenyan. The Shenyan is seventh entity in the game. The Shenyan as a regular intruder with the only expectations, being them having no eyes and a large, open mouth, very similar to unhinged. Throughout the night, the Shenyan can be observed on the cameras, keeping an eye on it by the cameras not necessary for survival though. The Shenyan's first form of attack is to head up to your door and start banging on it. This does not hurt the player though, so it can be ignored. Soon after banging on the door, the power will turn off. It's advised not to go through the vents in the bathroom and fix it through, as you'll meet the Shenyan crawling to your room. After the power turns off, the player will hear sounds coming from the vents. To survive, hide under the bed with the lights off. Once you hear vent noises again and they stop, it is safe to exit from beneath the bed. This badge obtained when the Shenyan kill you. Under the bed monster. Under the bed monster is eighth entity in the game. Under the bed monster Akaut. Very like an under the bed for kill some players when player hide while he spawn. He seems to have yellow eyes and sharp teeth. He will periodically do a scratching sound, signaling his attack. Surviving him is simple. Don't hide under the bed for too long. Otherwise, he will kill you. Since two events won't happen at the same time, he won't attack you if you need to hide from the Shenyan. 
This intruder is obviously based off of the irrational child fear. Having a monster under your bed. This badge obtained when you get killed by under the bed monster or ut. Master Minions. Master Minions is ninth entities in the game. There's four variant of humanoid monsters include. 1. Smiling Variants. Smiling Variant is tall black humanoid monster with two white eyes, one nose with tiny black dot, and wide mouth. 2. One-Eye Variant. One-Eye Variant is short black humanoid monster, with one white eye and big or small black pupils. 3. Square Head Variant. Square Head Variant is tall black humanoid monster, with two eyes similar with Vent Dweller. This minions, have two phase. First phase look like a DVD head. During his first phase, he's not gonna killing players and just standing. But if you not shoot him, the text is kill all the demons to proceed. In second phase, he's look angry and preparing for chasing players. And also, he's screaming until he's die. If you shoot him, this is happening to him opening mouth with teeth tend to be messy. 4. Shapeshifting Variant or King of Minions Shapeshifting Variant or King of Minions is tall black humanoid with shapeshifting head every second, according to his name, King of Minions, because he's look very tall than all minions. This entity have random head, he's change his head every second. Also, he's emits in blue and red light in surroundings. You can shoot or kill these minions, except King of Minions because he's can't be killed than all minions. These minions will take your one heart every they touch you. These minions spawned by the angel. The angel wants all her minions can kill Henry, but her plan is failed because Henry always avoid her minions. And now, the victim from all minions is the players. This badge obtained when these minions caught you. The Caller. The Caller is 10th entity in the game. The Caller is tall entity with a black tuxedo, a flip phone, and a fedora on its head, a grin, and the entity's eyes can also be seen on its face. In easy and hard mode, whenever a train passes by, the Caller arrives in the subway and will stay on the platform. The train can be easily identified due to the loud noise .it makes when passing by. The caller will step out of the train, and the phone will ring. To survive his attack, follow these simple steps. 1. When the caller arrives, turn off the light in the office. 2. Do not answer the phone and watch the caller through the front window. 3. When the caller leaves the subway, the light can be safely turned on, and the phone can be answered shortly after. But the train is difficult to identify due to the train passing. Be why every the screamer move to the other cams. Whenever a train passes by, the caller has a chance to appear in the subway and will stay on the platform on the nightmare mode. Difficulty, it is not guaranteed that whenever a train will pass through the subway the caller will appear. Instead, multiple trains will pass by and confuse the player. To avoid this and survive, do the following steps. 1. Whenever a train passes by in the subway, make sure to look through the front window and make sure the caller isn't there. 2. To keep your anxiety low and also survive the caller, watch cameras periodically and look through the front window whenever a train passes by to keep track of the caller. This badge obtained when the caller find your location and kills you. The Screamer. The Screamer is 11th entity in the game. The Screamer makes distant bang and loud sounds when she's entered the office. The Screamer is tall black figure with chained hands. The head is crooked to the right. She's can shapeshifter like the intruder, the screamer. Eyes is totally black and black hair. 
A distant bang can be here when you select easy and hard difficulty. But in Nightmare, this doesn't apply. For Nightmare, there are two types of cues, visual and audio. The visual cue is it passing by the front window. However, this won't always work, as you may not always be looking out for the screamer passing by. The audio cue is the trains all suddenly stop it. Regardless of what difficulty you play on, the survival method is all the same. Head into the bunker, alongside, closing the hatch. Not closing hatch will result in you being captured. This badge obtained when the screamer enter your office and kills you. Well, that's all. The intruder. All entities. Explained. Thanks for watching until end. New membership emojis. Join if you want. Join link in description.